everybody passes the goddamn buck. He says one thing, he says another. I told him on Thursday, we needed a forklift. Comes Monday, we got a forklift. Uh, he's, he only gave me a day's notice, but he says he gave me four days notice. It's all bullshit. Everybody needs to get on a goddamn job right now, because I've had it. Make myself clear? Thank you. take whatever I give you back. I take more shit every goddamn day from everybody. I'm like the giant fucking shit taker in my life. My life is just taking shit every day. Maybe if you didn't start That's what shit. my life consists of. Taking everybody's shit. I'm just defending myself. Defending yourself. I'm not a fucking attacker like some people. Damn what kind of person kids. brings their dog that ain't supposed to be there in the first place to my house and then shits on my imitation lawn and don't clean it up. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Who the Holy fuck has imitation shit. grass? Did you get Is there any fucking imitation, imitation grass, grass anywhere in the world? Because I'm smart. That's what your ass gets. That's what you... Look, nobody, the dog has never even seen Bring imitation goddamn grass. goddamn German shepherd to shit on my Chinese grass. Down. All that pet crap for what? Oh, boy. You're insecure. Oh, I need a pet. You like those I gotta pets? have a companions. You love those pets when you get that three hundred dollar fucking pet deposit, now don't you? Yeah, don't you? Yeah, let him let him buy the stuff, spin off whatever he wants, and do whatever he wants. But I need to get out. I don't want to be hung in there for a year and a half waiting on him. The Jews in Israel aren't gonna let them risk the money unless he's got the zoning. That's his problem. See, his problem is he can't take no risk. You know, I just don't want to be strung out for a year and a half. That's crazy. <laughs> But if you can put a deal together for him to buy it all, then do it, baby. If I sell a hotel right now, as soon as things bounce back, I know for a minimum, a minimum, there's five million bucks to be made on Fort Lauderdale or more, eight million on that one. There's, is five to eight million to be made on the Orlando one? Because all these things were worth a certain price before COVID, and they're going to go back to that price eventually. Somebody could, if you add up all the hotels, basically somebody could probably make 30 to 40 million bucks on all the hotels, uh, something like that. And that, now that's a real number. That's not a bullshit number. You know the old saying, no risk, no reward. You know, they gotta have, they gotta show some risk. All right, well, I appreciate it. But anything you can do, I'm happy to include you in the deal. What'd you say? Dude, every time I talk, you start talking. What'd you say? I barely even remember now. I said it 10 times. Uh, you said that I said it 10 times. Remember, and you don't remember. Important. You guys just don't know how to have no proper etiquette. etiquette. Don't talk over people when they're talking. Stadium, exit 33. If the Israelis got all that money, they can't even afford to throw 20 grand at the zoning issue. That's their biggest okay. issue. Okay, number one, they're prepared to throw hundreds of thousands okay. of dollars well, at the zoning that. issue. Before what they want is the guarantee that they don't have to buy the place if, the and if they can't no. get the zoning or if it's too difficult. They could have been working on that already. Well, we could have. 10, 20 grand, they could have been solving yeah. that issue. It's not, you know, they want guarantees. Deal. You know, everybody wants their cake and they want to eat it too. Yeah. <laughs> We're here today to check on Vincent's progress. He had 135 roughly bathrooms to complete. Let's go see why they're not complete and what it's gonna take to get them complete so we can start the other 135 bathrooms. Hey, you left a mess over here in front. Have that cleaned up right away. I can't believe our luck. We got 89 rooms rented tonight. That's great. And that's right now. So maybe later tonight it'll be like 110. Well, it's the weekend. I know. We've been 
floating with nobody during the week. Well, the week, the week drops down to like 40 rooms. So during the week, we're at like 40 rooms all week. Mm. And then once it gets the weekend, we get up to double that or 110. The weekends are okay. Number one, half the rooms are down because we're remodeling them. Okay, and on the weekends, we're able to almost fill up the other half. Only on the weekends, and the rain ain't that good. But during the week, we're dead. If we were patient, we'd be lying in intensive care on life support. I'm saving this place right now because COVID has affected it. This place has got COVID, and I'm the friggin' ventilator. I just want to walk rooms. That's all I want to do. Oh, you're going to walk rooms. Show me the first room, and let's start. I'm he wants see. to walk every All I want to do is walk, room. walk rooms. That's he wants all to I see every do. single and room. And a boom, boom. Sure. That's all I want to do. He wants to make sure that we're actually doing the work that he's paying for. Yeah. All I want to do is room, walk a room, 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 and a boom, boom. Now shake your butt. Elevator up. I'm dropping off food. You don't have COVID, do you? Step back, please. Let the man out. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Poor guy ain't got a lot life rough enough. He's delivering food for a living. And somebody go, you got COVID? <laughs> Can't you do something about this right what here? What is that? Touch it. Wipe it. Not touching it's that shit. It's probably oh. somebody spilled blood. Looks like somebody got shot in here and a blood splat and you didn't clean up all of it. <laughs> okay. Construction starts here. Come on, Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, you're supposed to protect the carpet? This is protecting the carpet? Six months later, eight months later. Then redo it! This shit cost, if I showed you how much this fucking paper cost, you would fucking pay Use paper bags. This is expensive. This is the most expensive export. That's why you're supposed to use plastic. But the plastic don't rip. The plastic rips when you push the cart over it. You the loudest one. Shut your little mouth. Little Ben's gonna walk every. I wanna see his ass walk every fucking room. I'm here. You gonna tell days. me some shit? You wanna walk every room? Oh Big my shot. God. Yes. This is oh great. my God. What have you done to this great. fucking hotel? Great. What have you done to what? us? You There's ruined us. Wrong with this room is a fucking under construction. There's no dust on the walls. They just took the plastic off the walls. So now. Oh what? my God! You ruined us. The Chileans have ruined us. What a fucking disaster. What's the story here now? Look at that. Shower in, tile in. Look, this is the story. This is what they got time they're doing. What is the problem here? Why, why do we not pass inspection? There is not one room that we have not passed inspection in, okay? We didn't have an inspection because some of the floors came in broken. Yeah, the shower floor. Right the... no. Do we have toilets? No, we don't have toilets. Six months, we, we still sit we around with no toilets. We were picking on the right toilet. We had Fucking to make toilets sure... changed three times. It did change a lot. The shower heads anyway, changed Anyway, the toilets twice. will be here next month, week. Yeah. Man, this is the way they work in a unit. So all the rooms are in that condition? Yes. Pretty much. Like we, we're... Oh, my God. And he took all the plastic down. That's the only difference. I want these bathrooms done. Why do we not have fucking doors to the bathrooms yet? Six months. We should order them six months ago. David. Espinosa. Kind of dirty. Is it just because the plastic was taken down or what? I mean, a lot of, a lot of, I mean, a lot of reasons. Go I mean, a little bit. Go talk to them because I already had to hear all of it. That's really, this is disgusting. I mean, all these trash bags that are in here, different stuff all ripped apart, the floor all ripped apart. I mean, you guys should work clean. What's wrong with this room? 200, we took like 200 pounds of more. I mean, it is what it is, but you gotta keep it clean. Now I gotta have this carpet professionally cleaned. You know what I mean? Well, I mean still, you know the price it doesn't come matter. with uh, cleaning. Inspe this is the thing, let me tell you. When inspectors come and see this, they're more, they're more inclined to say, let me see what's really going on around here because they don't see a clean atmosphere. It doesn't look professional, you know? So when the inspector comes in, they should see it nice and clean and ready for them. At least sweep clean. You know what yeah, I mean? We're not talking wipe down clean. Yeah. We're just talking swept clean. Uh, let me explain. Once we took the shower tubs out of mm -hmm. the tubs out of the place, that was, they were like 300 pounds. These things just all got ripped up. And I, you know, I was just making sure if we could buy some more paper, just because I wanted to put new paper in, but they were like, don't spend money on paper. 
that you're okay. Uh, so we just didn't want to go with the extra. Even cost. if you, even if you didn't do yeah, that, you should have put some tape on, on tape, tape, taping it back together. The damage we're going to cause by not changing the paper is going to be more than the cost of the paper. I need a cigarette. Holy shit! Look at this. Somebody sleep in the bed here. Ay, 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 ay. I've definitely seen better days. The problem is this job's going on too damn long. And the longer the job goes on, the worse it affects everything. Okay, it affects the furniture, it affects the carpeting. We need to get in and get out. And I don't think things are being done, banged out like they should in an organized manner. So what's the big holdup? That's the one I want to know. Okay, holdup right now is, I don't know. I mean, really, we got... Hold up. This is the hold up. Yeah. We're missing 100% um, faucets. We're missing 100% toilets. We're missing 100% barn doors. Just to advance some work for the vanities. We did, all these are cut it up already. They, they're just ready to install. We have to cut them. We're just missing the faucet. I cannot put this up, you know, with the faucet in there. I got to put the faucet first. Where's the sink? The you have to put the faucet in before you can put the vanity in? It just makes it a lot easier with the, with the price that we got it down to, uh, you know, per room. It's just easier for my guy just to pop it in be besides having him <coughs> lay down because he will charge me extra. Where <laughs> are the faucets? They will be here next week. They should have been here six months ago. Yeah, they should have been if we'd have known the exact one that we needed to order based on brand franchise, you know, requirements. If they'd stopped changing it, the problem is, is when we first started this PIP a year ago, the brand said, we want this. Then six months later, they said, no, we want this. Then six months later, they said, no, we want they this. You should have said, too late, we already bought this stuff. Mirrors came in, and it wasn't the mirror that we started with either. That even the mirror oh, yeah. changed. So now my electrician's bitching about they where things are supposed to go. The outlet box? You should Maybe. change so much. Where, I told them whatever you can install Change for now. the outlet box. Yes, because the other mirror box had a different setup. Like the, the, the frame, the metal frame, is about 12 inches on the new one. The other one was about two inches. So now you have a huge metal piece of in frame. front of where the plug goes. Where the plug goes. So now on some of them. On some, some of them. Of them. Some. I walk, we walk a lot of mm. them, and it's really not that many. But everything's a fucking problem. Them. Out of your pocket and make a deal with a contractor you say okay i'm going to give you 258 rooms to do you're going to charge me x amount of dollars in labor okay in this situation i think it's about six grand a bathroom three grand for labor three grand for materials we got to buy the materials that's three thousand bucks three thousand times 258 you do the math is uh 750 it's about three quarters of a million so you got three quarters of a million in materials and you got three quarters of a million in labor that's oh that's a million and a half dollars that i gotta pay for out of my pocket it's got to get done well it's not like you're just giving them two million right no Something. you gotta pay it as they do the work first you gotta lay the money out for the materials he got a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar contract he had to remodel these bathrooms it's simple as he progresses in stages he gets so much out of that per three grand per unit if he accomplishes the plumbing okay maybe he'll get a thousand bucks and then when he gets another, it's probably done in thirds. He does one third of the work, he gets one third of the money. He does another third of the work, he gets another third of the money. It's in stages. So I gotta keep paying him. I gotta keep paying for materials. I gotta keep paying the bills. I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying. And we ain't got shit coming in. Make us look good like yeah. real video people do. Not video people don't just look at the worst shit. Well, cause we're reality, not, not. Look at some nice stuff. That's nice. Look, That's nice. No bathroom. No construction room. Nice without oh, a bathroom. Course, the battery fucking died. You're such a forward. That pipe looks fine to me. The pipe is covered by shit that was leaking that they foamed over it because it's leaking on the inside. Why should you just do that? Because that's not how you repair a chiller pipe. The chiller with foam. pipes are rust. He wants to change the whole, 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 change the whole fucking stack. This whole thing. But how many floors? All of them. All what? The way down. What's wrong with that one? It's rusting out and no, leaking. No, not that Vincent. one. The next one. It's going to be the same way. See it leaking? 
It's rusty. They're all leaking, leaking down to the. And that's he's saying there's having leaks all the way down. So and rip them all, all, all out, the all the way. This is easy to do. It's in a straight line. It's already there. Why are you saying none of these rooms? Why I'm saying this stack. Specific. Okay, this stack. Just, just, just this stack. Just this stack. Just this stack. Eight rooms. It's eight rooms. Oh, seven eight rooms. rooms. That's what seven. You say shit. I see his face goes like. That's what your face said. You, you got plumbers to do it or you want me to call somebody? Yeah, I want you to get a bid, but I can get my Texas guys down here. To do eight rooms? It's a stack, Dad. It's 150 feet. I mean, it sounds it's easier to have a hotel without a flag. It's a lot cheaper. It is a lot easier. Listen, but you know, half of our reservations today come from The other half are random people. So that's half of our business. That's listen, why you pay for you ain't it. got a flag, you're not really in a hotel business unless you're sitting on a beach and you got an independent hotel. You're not really in the business if you're not part of a flag, okay? That's, you know, the problem is, there's problems. <laughs> there's problems with shipping, there's problems with determining what parts to use, there's problems with problems that you run into, there's problems with inspections, there's problems and problems and problems and problems. Otherwise, it would be a piece of cake. What is you lost? No, guess. Complaints. Looking for stuff, all sorts of things. People, you know, still running a business here. Running a construction crew, a business, and dealing with the unhappy owner. Make me happy. What is he complaining about? What? What's he complaining about? What's the problem? I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know what the problem is. So there's dirt on the leaves. You tell him. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's the natural way that they look. Dirty. Go outside. Nick leaves look clean. What is he fucking mental? Yes. You're written to mental people? Where'd he go anyway? He went to go get laundry soap. That's the laundry room? Yes. Now we got now we're running a mental hospital here. Yes. Yes. Do you see? He's lucky you don't talk to me because I'll tell him in a minute. That's why I'm trying to get you to go this way. <laughs> Dirt on the fucking leaves. Go outside. It's natural. How often this happens? That was the first for me. Did you handle that guest problem? Yeah, I told him to take the leaves and stick them up his ass. What the fuck is that smell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, seriously. Come on, come on. Oh, Come on, where's the light? <laughs> Turn the light on, Aaron! Oh my god. Let's go! <laughs> no, f you! <laughs> Vincent, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. Dude, I'm not, that's ridiculous. You're fired. There's a perfect explanation for this. David, did someone literally shit in the room and like leave it in the bucket or what? No, you're fired. Yeah, yeah you're fired too. Unfortunately, my towel guy, Alvaro, and I'm gonna make him watch this. I told him twice. No, you need to remove, in there. remove need that too. bucket. What is in that bucket? It's just towel water. It's just it's probably he threw a piece of chicken in there also. I don't know what he did with it. Vincent's workers have eaten chicken in the rooms, and that's why it stinks like that. Let's go. Next floor. You f***ed that whole floor with that one room. Now it smells like pot over here. You got f***ing stankiness, death. I don't know, it smells like death on one side of this hotel, and it smells like pot on the other side of the hotel. And then you got your stinky hand sanitizer. That smells like alcohol. I'm definitely putting my mask back on. 100% I'm wearing a mask. Oh. I'm fucking sweating because I almost choked and died. It smells like old cooking wine. That shit smells way, it smells like... Um, so what do you do here all day? Make sure this place doesn't burn down and we get sued for anything. I'm just a problem solver. People come to me with problems, I solve it. If they don't have no problems, I ain't got shit to do. But there's never been one day without problems on any property. And you told them on Thursday. Well, it's gonna stop right now. It's gonna stop and we're gonna get this shit place done. 
All right, because this is bullshit. All right, I'll be back in touch. But listen, I want materials from now on locked up in a container. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. When you need materials for a job, I want them on site. I want them locked up in a container, sitting here waiting to be used. This is bullshit that we're sitting around. We can't install vanities because we ain't got no goddamn faucets to put in the vanity. And then we got to cut down some of the vanities because, they, you know, all the walls ain't the same size. We got to get this shit done. This place is a fucking disaster. Everybody passes the goddamn buck. He says one thing, he says another. I told him on Thursday we needed a forklift. Comes Monday, we got a forklift. Uh, he's, he only gave me a day's notice, but he says he gave four days' notice. It's all bullshit. Everybody needs to get on a goddamn job right now because I've had it. Make myself clear? Thank you. We got no flyers, we're not doing no marketing. It's like. Where is Ben at? Is he still fucking around walking rooms? No, you need to stay here is what you need to do and run this That's what you need to do. What the fuck do you think I do all day? I don't know. I don't know. There's not even water in the fucking refrigerator. The GM is putting water in the refrigerator. The GM. Who else? You want us to hire somebody to fucking put waters in there? Why is it not even filled to begin with? We don't have a fucking restaurant barely even open. We got one person Anybody cooking. Anybody can take water from like a fucking refrigerator. La La Land. You're fucking nuts. It's fucking COVID virus. COVID okay? now. Every day COVID. is a new opening of something. The bar is not even open. That's even more reason why shit should be done around here. You ain't got shit to worry we about. We fucking fired everybody, okay? You don't need nobody in a bar. The bar's the closed. The guy that the bar used to do the water. So anybody can do the water. Okay, anybody can well, stock a refrigerator. I shouldn't come in here and see the fucking fridge empty. I shouldn't see the fucking patio filthy back there. Somebody stick a goddamn blow to a goddamn hotel, blow around a pool area, clean up. We got no maintenance people on the payroll. I seen the payroll, baby. We're spending money. The fucking pool's been closed for six months, okay? Closed. Why is the pool closed? Jesus Christ. We just Why? opened it last week, okay? We got one maintenance guy working all fucking week, okay? One maintenance guy. This place had five maintenance guys. Got, don't talk to me about yeah. what the hell we got going on. And five we're maintenance about guys, the and the place was open. We got one fucking maintenance guy now, and you want everything to be perfect. It's impossible. Every day you clean the impossible. property. Impossible. He probably cleaned the shit. Yeah, right. The place we just had a hurricane months. yesterday, but that doesn't matter either. A hurricane, yeah. Now we had hurricanes. Crazy. Trump ain't got to put up with this shit. Now he does. He got fired from his last job. I wish I, fired. I wish I could get fired. Trump got fired from his last job. I wish I could get fired. If you had another job, you'd probably get fired. This is your job. Yeah. This is what you're good at, complaining. You call right. me a complainer? That's all you do is complain. You're not allowed to complain. You're the fixer. I'm the complainer. You're the fixer. Who now fix it. What do you think happens when you complain to me? I complain to somebody else. They That's complain the problem. To somebody else. Too many people complain. What do you want me to do? Get on my hands and knees and pull the blower and fucking blow off the property? Yes. If you got to. Give me the blower. I'll make the pilot do it. That'd be the fucking hardest job he had all year. These fucking guys don't do nothing. Getting paid all that money to do the same thing every day. Does the 414 have an automatic pilot button? Uh, it does. And I see. I should have been a pilot. Anybody could be a pilot after I seen the nutcase you had flying you. Let's talk about Mike. You know who Mike is? Touch uh, I don't know Mike. I want progress. Okay. Progress that... and efficiency. That's what I want. The first thing they said was, oh, Vincent's going to have everything stolen from the property. We're not sending him shit. That's bullshit. Nobody said that's, that. That's, 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 uh, what that's you say. Okay? Every other job we've had, we've had containers. We lock shit up. Mm -hmm. We store our materials. And we have no problem. I didn't even use the container until I start getting containers. No. We've been using containers for 30 years. You never have one container at Hogan's Beach. We've had 10 at one time. I don't know what you're talking about. You weren't there, that's the problem. Yeah. It's bullshit. Well, I know, this is the fourth hotel I've done for you. And everyone, shit. every time, has been the, the same story. Here, people always blaming me for shit, and the job still gets done. Back and forth, every time. Anytime I say left, it's supposed to be right. Anytime I say up, it's gotta be down there. So, whatever. But if you had any other contractor here working on these fucking rooms, you would be 
Done. You would be laying down. Done. Screaming. No the contractor. Right now. No contractor would, would sit here. You. No you contractor would be here waiting on materials. He'd say, fuck this. Fuck it. Yeah, he'd say, fuck this. I'm out. If, if you don't agree with something, if something don't make sense, then do something about it. There's no reason why we're sitting here without materials right now. That's the biggest problem. Because you don't trust my black ass. That's why. I wasn't involved. Because it's up to me, when the job starts, get all the materials you need for the whole job and do like you normally do, stick them in containers and get the fucking job done. To be honest, I don't even think we knew which materials we needed. That's, Happy says that he knew forever. I don't think so. Everybody gives me a different story. I don't know what to believe. Happy says one thing, you say another. You blame Happy, he blames us, he blames him. You know, it's bullshit. I just want it done. Anybody. I'm just saying I think the franchise is the I one just who's been, done. you know, dictating what we're supposed to have and they keep changing it. Is it not that they're not changing it? They faucets? Change the yeah, they change Everything. the toilets, they change the faucets. The Listen. brand the could brand even be changed. changed. The barn door has changed. Listen. Before it was Sounds one like we ain't got the right person on the phone to fucking <laughs> They should have me on the phone. That's what they should do. I mean, who the fuck are they? I got shit I want to get shit done. Tell me what the fuck you want now and I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll do what I want, and I'll see you in court. Don't forget, everybody else told you it costs $9 million to do these rooms, okay? So don't forget about that part either. That included furniture. If I listen to everybody pretty. else, I wouldn't do shit in life. Everybody else is full of shit. That's, what I made. That's how they make their money, ripping other people off. Right. And have somebody clean up around the fucking pool areas, all shit all over the ground and the landscaping. What kind of shit? Natural what shit. Kind of shit. Natural. Leaves. But it, natural it, it's shit. Okay. When you leave it on the ground, gotta, it stains. Hey, look how fucking windy it is right now. It stopped the Are wind. Are you nuts? We gotta tell you that's not like there's garbage and condoms. Let's and go. And shit there's garbage in the ground. Oh, Here. Look the receipt. I guarantee that receipt says. Yeah, Vincent Mallow. 4.56. It's 5.05. Yeah, it's been out here. Ago. It's been out here for six minutes. There's the truck. Come on. Ain't that so windy as shit? The fuck is this? Listen, everything was fine. But when you get into a hotel business, you better know what the hell you're getting into. It's a lot of work. A lot. And then some stupid virus comes along and fucks everything up. And look, it's the share suites. Maybe this place is owned by Cher. You remember our Sunny and Cher? Here's Sunny and here's Cher. Or wait till you see the bill to put the yeah. new sign up there. Why don't you just fix the old ones right you now? You see the bill for the fixing? The franchise wants Listen, new signs. That can wait till last. Right now, it needs to be lit up at night. 2,000 bucks to light that up. To put some fucking no, bulbs more in? more than that. 10,000. So I said it's 10. Go get another light and shine the it on the light. The ballast. The ballast. Ballast don't cost no thousands of dollars. And these flags well, hotel, look like shit I mean, on there. Yeah. The place looks raggedy. Mean? We just bought these fucking flags less than a year ago. Less and you bought some year. shitty ass what are you flags. What talking about? That one's ripped. They don't, it's sitting outside. He loves, loves complaining. How come the American flag looks good? Because it's America. Well, they get three American flags. That's Outside looks good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he'll lie, alright. Hey, but you were supposed to get that van wrapped. Oh, oh. They gave him more money for the wrap than for the fucking van. Yeah. <laughs> alright, adios. The day is over. You know where we're going? Walmart? No, you're going to trailer park. <laughs> you, you know where we're going? Oh my god. This I don't know where we're going. Been. I don't know either. Everybody's been hiding everything. What's the address? Oh, now we're hiding shit. You're the fucking king of hiding shit. You know why? But we don't care. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay? You're the king of hiding shit. You're the most biggest hide motherfucker I ever met. Let's go. Come on. We know where we're going. What address are we going to? We're going to a trailer park. Oh, wait, it's on 84. By the highway. I know nothing. All right, so and we can, I, I know it's near my favorite Italian restaurant. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here's, it's called. Oh, now I know why he did that. It's called Yacht. I didn't even see the camera behind me. It's Love called. That camera, boy. You know the it. truth's the truth. No, the truth's not. You over, worry about what the fuck everybody else does. Oh my God, they hide shit from me. Oh my God. The over exaggeration. Nobody's hiding shit from you. You're too fucking busy. You're right. Running all. Yeah, you're our running shit. all right. Yeah. You're running all right. Running I know what the, the ground, fuck you're baby. running. You're sitting in your fucking hot tub. That's what the fuck you're running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sitting in my hot tub. And I'm not sitting in my lazy You're in river, your fucking hot tub. I'm not sitting anywhere. You're sitting in your fucking I hot tub. I'm sitting in my chewing office. On, chewing on Cherusco, baby. Chewing on Cherusco. 
With chimichurri, too. Yeah, them too. Come on, let's go.